Hello and welcome to this Warhammer 40k video with me Mark from the Xenovich channel and I'm going to be talking about Warhammer 8th edition. Now I have been looking at some videos on YouTube, Warhammer Fritz in particular, I'll put a link in the description below and he talks about Warhammer 40k 8th edition and it's very interesting. So at the moment we have 7th edition where you, a lot of things were opened up um, Force Org was is, is kind of almost a thing of the past. You can kind of take what you want from your own army, have it completely unbound. There's loads of formations that have been coming up, so loads of different models and units together, special rules and stuff like that. Now, the rumours that are coming out for 8th edition um, it is kind of swinging towards an almost Age of Sigmar-esque way of doing things. So, Age of Sigmar good or bad whether you like it or not it has simplified the game of what used to be warhammer fantasy it is now a pickup game you can play it in an hour to an hour and a half you can have as many models as you want or as little as you want you can have narratives and it's really easy to play the rules are four pages long a lot better than what warhammer fantasy was where you have to shell out 60 quid for a rule book understand all the rules pay lots and lots and lots of money for an army that is a positive thing for a hobbyist whether you like it or whether you don't like it it is a lot better financially and time scale wise for the hobbyist and it's good for the new hobbyist as well you can get into it quite easily and then you can move on to bigger and more different things now 40k if you have on one side 7th edition and on the other side Age of Sigmar Warhammer Fritz talks about how it's not slap bang in the middle it's more towards Age of Sigmar and what you know as a codex could be going and there could be just four factions now the factions would be Imperium which uh, would be Space Marine, all of the Space Marines and Imperial Guard, Imperial Knights and all of that all together which I can see working. If I looked at an Astra Militarum army, I would probably want to get an Imperial Knight or have a look at some other things I could ally with. The next would be Xeno, the bad, evil things. So, Tyranids, I guess Necrons, and Dark Eldar and stuff. Then you have Xeno, good, which is Eldar and Tau and stuff like that. And then a, a kind of a neutrally, kind of whatever's kind of left. As a fourth one if that and then like age of sigma you can pick and choose whatever models you want now at first it, it, I, it's, for the purists out there it, it's not amazing um what are you doing this is blasphemy um however if you look at the tournament scene or kind of different play styles and gaming groups do you see a lot of allies out there I know of the Eldar and Tau cheese combinations. Um, in this new format, you would just naturally have the, those choices there for you anyway. Tyranids mixing with Dark Eldar. Does it make sense story-wise? No. Would I like to do it on the table? Probably not. But, you know, Games Workshop have tested Age of Sigma and they've simplified it and streamlined it for themselves. It's a lot easier for them. Going into Warhammer 40k, is that gonna make a huge impact? Of course. Do I want that to happen? Not at all. I want it to be the, what it is right now with some improvements upon the last edition. I don't want it to be a simplified thing where it is more of a child's game or and factions where it just doesn't look right because each army has a distinctive and specific style and ethos and history and it doesn't quite work if you try and mix them together the Imperium Space Marines that does make sense it is all the human race that makes sense sci-fi wise and in the 40k universe but having Tyranids and Eldar and having Necrons 
and or, and Tyranids working together, it it doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right. But Warhammer Fritz has suggested this is the way forward and he's got some very good sources and a lot of things he said before have come into fruition and and that's how, how it is. So obviously these are rumours but I want you to comment in the comment section below what you think about it. Take a big breath before you write the comment and have a think. Would it be good? Would it be bad? Do you think Games Workshop will do it or not? I'm hoping they don't, but I didn't think they'd do something as big as Age of Sigma. They could quite easily do it again. So thank you very much for listening. I've been Mark from the Xenovich channel. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.